In this problem, we're going to expand this logarithmic expression using the properties of logs. So the first property we're going to use is the quotient rule for logs. So whenever you have a fraction like this, you end up subtracting. The rule says if you have log base, say b, of x over y, this is the same thing as log base b of x minus log base b of y. So the fraction turns into subtraction. So this whole top piece here is your x, and this whole bottom piece is your y. So the first step is to write it that way. So this is the log base d of the square root of a, b to the fourth, minus the log base d of c to the ninth. In the next step, we can use the product rule. So whenever you have multiplication, it turns into addition. The rule says if you have log base b of x times y, that's equal to the log base b of x plus the log base b of y. So here this will become log base d of the square root of a. I'm going to go ahead and write the square root of a as a to the one half plus log base d of b to the fourth. And then we still have minus log base d of c to the ninth power. Good stuff. The reason I wrote um, the square root of a uh, to the one half is because in the next step we're going to use something called the power rule. The power rule basically says that whenever you have an exponent like this or like this or like this, you can just put it in the front. So this will be the last step. So you put the 1 half in the front, just bring it down. So this is 1 half log base d of a plus 4 log base d of b minus 9 log base d of c. And that would be the final answer. Uh, kind of a tougher problem. We ended up using all three properties, the quotient rule, the product rule, and I didn't write it, but the power rule, this is the one that says you can put the exponent in the front, so you just get p log base b of x. I hope this video has been helpful.